Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here with Honeybee Stamps today. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we're going to be making a card using some items from the latest release. We're going to be using You Bake Me Happy. We're going to be using Sugar Cookie Alpha with the matching dies. We're also going to be making a little pan card. So that was the die that you saw before that. And we're going to be using several different pieces of cardstock. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to cut out the pan to our card. And I'm making this card. I'm using a black matte um, paper here. It's kind of shiny, but kind of matte. And I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. And I'm also going to do the same thing with a white piece of paper. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because this is going to be a card that's hinged together and it's going to be the whole card. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this out of a second piece of paper white piece of paper so that we can get this all together. So here I am, I'm going to go ahead and place the black piece on top of the original white that I made. And here I'm going to make the hinge so that this is a card that's in the shape of the pan. And basically what I do is I just fold over one of the handles and I'm going to go ahead and glue that to the front of the panel. And then this will be the size of the card or the shape of the card will be the shape of the pan, which I think is super cute. Um, you could have used to also double-sided adhesive for that as well. So we're going to cut out a spatula here and we're going to use some silver metallic mirror metallic matte um, paper here and we're going to go ahead and cut this cute cute spatula out. Anything that's miniature is so cute. Oh my gosh. If you saw my card a few weeks ago with the apron, loved all those cute little pieces too. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead. Now we're going to cut out the cookies and how much do we love a cookie and how much do we love a sugar cookie that has a design on it? I mean, come on. So I'm taking three different colors of pink here and I'm going to spell out the word love and I'm going to use some embossing ink here because we're going to do some white heat embossing. So we're going to go ahead and get this embossing ink down onto the card and then we'll go ahead and white and heat emboss uh, these cookies here so that we could Go ahead and get those melted and covered and all that great stuff. And then here we are at the end. Didn't want to show you all that amazing heat bossing. It's so fun and interesting, right? Not really. We're going to use the matching dies here and cut out all these little letters out of all these little cute pieces of paper to make little cute cookies. And here I am just doing another one here just to show you how it's done. You know, boring, boring. But anyway, I'm going to show you. <laughs> So the next thing we're going to do is cut out or go ahead and stamp out the sentiment. We're just going to use some intense ink, black ink from Honeybee Stamps here. And I just rub the stamp because it's new and I want the ink to stick to it. So that's what we, that's what I do to get it to stick. I just rub it with my hand. Now we're going to use the matching die here. I tell you guys every time these word matching dies are amazing. I can't get enough. I had to clap my hands for that y'all. I had to. So now that we have that out, I'm just trying to see exactly how I'm going to put this card together, where I want the sentiment, all of that great stuff. I believe I know where I want it to be, so we're going to whip out that 3M foam tape, and we're just going to apply it to these cookies, honey, okay? And then we're going to stick the 3M foam tape on all of the cookies, and then we are going to remove all the backings to go ahead and get those stuck into the card. So here we go. We have cookie number one. We're going to glue down the spatula here, that cute little spatula. It's a honeybee stamps liquid glue. We just want to make sure that bad boy stays in place. There we go. We have that glued down, making sure it sticks. And then we're going to remove the backing from the rest of the letters and press them down just to make sure that they fit. I don't normally press them down right away because I want to make sure everything's lined up. And as you saw here, that L was a little more stuck than I needed it to be, but I fixed it. And now it's all here. We're all together. It's all love. Now I'm going to put some 3M foam tape on the back of the sentiment, and then I'll line that up under the cookies. You guys, I want to thank you so much for watching this video and supporting Honeybee Stamps. We truly do appreciate it. Um, you know, we have some great releases this year. We have another great release coming out. And so, you know, we just really appreciate it. And then what I decided to do is to go ahead and put a sentiment on the inside of the card. I rarely do this, actually. 
but I felt like it just needed a little something something. So I'm just getting everything weighed down here so that I could stamp out this sentiment. And I'm just going to stamp out, you are the sweetest. So thank you very much for watching this video. This card is almost complete. Make sure you follow Honeybee Stamps on all the social media platforms. Head over to the store. Check out what they got. There's some links in the description for how I made this card, all the products I used. And also you can follow me on Instagram and YouTube by following Bromero Cards. So thank you guys very much. Have a great week. Next week's video is going to be a brand new release. Talk to you later. Bye.